roundup of the palettes I used last week. There were six different palettes, but two of them I used together. So I'm going to count that as one. So then we have five palettes that I will tell you about, and I'm going to rank them from my least favorite of the week to my most favorite of the week. Now, I like all of these palettes, but you know how things are from week to week things change, right? Everything changes. The weather changes, your weight changes, your like what palettes you like changes. So this was last week when I was enjoying the most and the least. So let's start with palette number five, the one I enjoyed the least out of all the palettes that I used last week. That is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. Now there's nothing wrong with this palette. It's just one that does not get a lot of use um in all of the palettes that I have and I actually really did like the look I created the one thing I would change in this palette is this matte shade here it's just so light I find that for my skin tone I would like just a different shade to me it looks a little ashy um so if there was something else that I mean I guess there are I could take a different shade because you can top these out. Uh, if there were another shade I could put here, I think I would like the palette a little bit better. But I find that it's just like a little eclectic. I think that's the word I want to use. Like you've got golds and pinks and browns and oranges and then like whatever this color is, it's like a light, light, light peach. So it just is not the color story that I would personally put together. That's why I don't have a brand though. I don't have a brand. I don't have no eyeshadow palette. But I really do like the shimmer in this palette and I like this matte orange shade here. So let me show you. Those are just so pretty to me. Um, and the formula is great, goes on very smoothly. And yeah, I just really like that shimmer and that orange. I could just get rid of whatever this is right here because I don't think it really does anything for my skin tone. So that was number five. Now, number four, that's gonna go to my homegirl. Guess who my homegirl is? Y'all know her. She's the dame, Patricia McGrath. And it is the mothership Midnight Sun. Now, I like this palette. I like the difference in texture and shades. It kind of reminds me of the Peak Palette in the way that I don't know that I would have put all of these shades together in one palette, but that's just, that's like, this is her creative genius, right? People don't pay me to do this. Um, but there are several shades that I like in this palette, mainly this special shade here, right here. This is one of my favorite shades. I think it's just so pretty. Can you see that? Look at that. That's just really nice, you guys. I love that shade. But this one comes in at number four for the week. I did like using it. It's just, you know, there are some other palettes that I feel like I enjoyed a bit more than that one. Now, I mentioned that there were two palettes that I used together. And so for number three, we're going back to the other homegirl, Natasha, Natasha Denona. And it is the Cupid palette as well as the Coral palette. Now, I ended up popping a couple of these shades out and putting them into a magnetic palette and using those shades together. Um, and let me show you. This is the Cupid palette. I feel like it's a very like romantic color story and I love this shimmer shade here. That's just really, really nice and pretty. Definitely my kind of vibe. And I love this matte shade down here. I feel like that is just like such a simple romantic look. Along with that in the coral palette, probably the shimmers are my favorite in these. They just are such pretty tones, but I also like this matte here. 
I, okay, I like every shade in here. <laughs> but one of the shimmers that stands out is this one here in the middle. That is just so pretty. Like, I know you agree. Look at that. It's just... It's just pretty. Do you know, have you ever seen a person and you're like, you're just pretty. So those two palettes come in at number three for the week. So let's talk about my top two. The first one, we're throwing it back to my home girl, Pat, Patricia. And that is Divine Rose 2. This is one of my all-time favorite palettes, mainly because I love the color pink. I love pinks and purples, but also it has one of my favorite shades, VR Extraterrestrial. One, I just am in love with the shade name. And also this is a palette, I think I've mentioned before, that I bought for one of my birthdays. So it just, it holds a special place in my heart. Let me show you there's even there's a dip in sexual terrestrial y'all can you see that there's a dip don't play you see it i'm gonna swatch that in this special shade here look at that look at that come on y'all you see that you see how stunning that is i love this palette i love the shades it just this palette puts me in a good mood i it just makes me happy i don't know why i don't question it i don't question why it makes me happy i just sit with the fact that it does make me happy okay now let's go to number one for the week and that is the Melt Amor y Mariposas palette. Y'all, I have come to love this palette. I love the fact that there is such a wide range of color story in here and like shades. You've got the greens, the oranges, the berries, the golds and the yellows. It just is everything, right? The other thing that I like is that I got it on sale. That makes me like things so much more. Like if I get something and it's on sale, I'm in love with it because it's on sale. I also like that these pans can be popped out really easily. So the palette is magnetic and you can just take the pans out, which I can't say that for their other palettes that are in a different format, but these are really easy to take out and sort of build your own palette or your own color story. And one of my favorite shades in this palette is this orange right here. That is the shade Mari, oh wait, hold on. This one, <laughs> that is the shade Mariposa. This is just, actually I like the one next to it too. I just find this to be so vibrant and just like boom, pow, in your face. I, that shade is just stunning to me I really love it it just it just screams warmth and like fall or summer or spring like you could just use this palette year round oh gosh I really love it now those are the palettes that I used last week so again like I said this was based on my weekly emotions um so who knows if that ranking would kind of change this week or a following week or maybe even three weeks ago it might have been different but that is how I decided to rank them just based on how I liked them when I was using them I do like all of the palettes and that's why they continue to be in my collection if I had to get rid of one I would get rid of the peak palette because I think that I can recreate the same look that I did with this with some other shades from all of my like other palettes or singles. So let me know what you think. Let me know some of your favorite palettes over the past week. Let me know if you would change the ranking of these at all and what kind of influences you're ranking. For me it's just like how I'm feeling. 
so yeah anyways I'm hoping that some of this was helpful I also hope you are still taking care of yourself thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time